Hi, I'm Ivan Zud, and welcome into another video in our continuing series, Keep Haircutting Simple. Haircutting is supposed to be simple, haircutting is supposed to be fun. Let's not make this complicated. The video series features a new video every single week, and I don't want you to miss a single one. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and be here every single week. Never miss a video. Today, what we want to talk about is the proper way to hold a comb for cutting scissor over comb. The proper way to hold a comb when cutting scissor over comb. Now, of course, we're featuring Shark Fin Shears. Shark Fin Shears is a new promotional partner for our video series. There's a link in the video description to Shark Fin Shears, and there's a code, Zoot, my last name, that gets you all kinds of added promotional bonuses when you make a purchase at sharkfinshears.com. So when we're cutting scissor over comb, I prefer to use a scissors that is six inches or longer. This one is a six and a half and shark fin shears patented system of stability for hand positioning and holding and patented finger ring system for sheer fitting makes scissor over comb smooth and comfortable as opposed to challenging for our hands and wrists six inches or longer we've got a moving blade moving and a non-moving blade that is still but let's talk about how we hold the comb. You want to hold the comb comfortably so that you can angle or pitch the comb as it works up the head for beautiful scissor over comb tapering. I always say hold up a quarter. See that bright shiny quarter? Hold that quarter up with your thumb and forefinger with three fingers up in the air, just like that. That's our position for holding a comb for beautiful scissor over comb. When we translate this to the comb, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide the comb in that place and I'm gonna drop the quarter. Now I am holding the scissors with those same two fingers that I was using to hold the comb. I'm gonna make a fist with three fingers, which allows me to do this. This is that ability to angle the attitude or position of the comb relative to the head as we work up the head for beautiful scissor over comb work. What you don't want to do is you don't want a surface grip. You don't want your thumb on the face of the comb like that. Notice my whole wrist turns. It's a gross motor movement. It can be painful over an extended period of time. But this gives me precision and control, whether I'm using the wide teeth or whether I reverse the comb for finer work and I'm using the small teeth. Now this is a haircutcombs.com square spine cutting comb. And the square spine cutting comb is my comb of choice for scissor over comb. And the reason for that is the horizontal line, the squareness of the comb, the shape of the spine, which is ideally suited to that scissor over comb progress up the head. When you've got the right scissors and the right comb, and you add in the right hand position, you have total control for beautiful scissor over comb cutting. And that's flawless finishes, smooth tapers, beautiful blending, and seamless transitions. That's what scissor over comb is all about. The square spine cutting comb at haircutcombs.com will help make that easier. The thumb and forefinger position, just like you were holding up a quarter. Let's put that quarter right in there like that. And you'll see just like you were holding up a quarter makes it so easy to control the comb for beautiful scissor over comb cutting. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. You know, there's going to be another one next week and I don't want you to miss it. Like, comment, share, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again next time with another video. Have a great day.